up everybody, it's your girl, me, and today we're going to be making meringue cookies, because I really didn't feel like going to the grocery store, I thought, oh, meringue cookies, and I'm like, two ingredients, I have all that stuff, but then it turned out, disembodied mom boiled all the eggs, so I had to go buy more eggs. I have to say, I've never seen disembodied mom more excited about a recipe, because uh, I said, oh, I'm making meringues. And she's like, there are gonna be available egg yolks. I'm gonna make custard. So, I don't have an end to that story. Uh, let's, let's do the ingredients part now. Yeah. You will need eggs, sugar, salt, and cream of tartar. Can someone explain to me what cream of tartar is? Because I still, I still don't know. Anyway, on to the, the cooking part. I've got to add, I guess this technically is an ingredient, but it is something that you need. You need the, a piping bag and the, the, uh, um, the piper part. So, you know, take note. All right, uh, next we have to separate the eggs, much like this egg right here. Anyway, the recipe says that even the tiniest bit of egg yolk will totally ruin the cookies, so uh, we're we'll gonna be using two bowls. On to the, to the, that part. Let's, okay. I totally forgot about where I'm supposed to put the egg yolks. Hold on, I need it. I'm gonna get another bowl. All right, we did it. I totally forgot to use this bowl, but whatever. All right, on to the next step. All right, so we have four eggs worth of egg whites. One cup of sugar. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt, which I don't even have an eighth of a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna throw in a little bit. I don't know, like that. Half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I totally forgot to put in the ingredients list. All right, there we go. All right, so we're supposed to mix this until it's making peaks, which uh, I don't know. That looks good, I guess. Here we go. Okay, let's see if it is it. No, that's still very gooey. All right, let's keep going. Nope, still gooey. Hmm. I think it might be still gooey. My goodness! That looks wonderful! It's got, um, peaks? Alright, let's go do the piping part now. Actually, I changed my mind. I think that it was actually too runny, so I, I, I mixed it for a little bit longer. And now I think it's nice and firm and pe peaky, I guess. All right, on to the piping part. All right, here we go. Let's see, the last time I piped something was with the churros, and that wasn't excellent piping, so let's, let's try. Hmm. Um, what do you think, disembodied mom? I think, I think it might be just too small. Like Alright, disembodied mom's gonna have a try. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, so there's a hole in the bag. <laughs> it's almost like this piping bag that was bought in 2001 might actually not be the most sturdy. <laughs> okay, my idea was to just sit in the same spot mm -hmm. until the cookie gets nice and fat, and then you can kind of... Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> All right, hey. we're gonna cut and uh, figure out how to salvage this. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I'm just gonna spoon it out, and I'm kind of interested to see how this Blobby monstrosity turns out here in the corner. So, uh, 
I'm just gonna spoon it. All right. All right, um, I think that's enough for now. I mean, there's more. I'm definitely gonna make more later, but I think that's enough for this tray. So let's uh, put it in the oven for an amount of time that I'll update you about later because I forgot to read the uh, recipe about it. All right, uh, it's been an hour. They're not looking super brown. I'm kind of afraid to poke it because I think they might deflate and fall apart. So I think we're gonna keep in the oven for a little bit longer. Hello, Justin. Hi, Julia. Hi, the internet. Hello, the internet. I made meringues. I... Ta-da! I didn't know these were what meringues were. I'm not... They're, they're called cookies, but I think it's more of like a, like a culinary gray area because they're not really like... Let's have a bite. <laughs> Look a lot like whipped cream, and I do not like whipped cream. It's not like whipped cream. What? What? It's kind of like cotton candy. It's like cotton candy, but crunchier. Yeah, it's like crunchy cotton candy. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. What do you think, disembodied mom? I like them. Yeah, no, I do. Mm. You like it? Heavily neutral. <laughs> you feel strongly neutral about them? It's also like it's starting, like it's it's a bit too, like you know the sugar kind of starts to taste a little weird when you have too much sugar? Mm-hmm. It's starting to taste like that. Well. After the first couple bites. Okay. It's very sticky. It's pretty sticky. I, I think they turned out great. But, so did I, did I beat the abstract concept of cooking? I mean, yeah, they're not, they're not bad and I just don't think I like meringues conceptually. They came out, they're talking about peaks. They totally have peaks. I did it. Also, this is mom's. What do you think? Oh boy. The bag broke. I love people liquors. <laughs> ah! Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. Thank you for joining us today, dear viewers. Um, so long. Bye. Bye, the internet. Bye, the internet.